we're standing now is the entrance court uh, for both the CG building and for our new Bosley School. And um, where that little bit of concrete juts out right there, uh, that's actually the line of the vestibule and this is the edge of, of, the, of the lobby there, the glass lobby, and there'll be a terrace out here and some steps. And that is actually the theatre volume. There's 250 seat theatre in there. In contrast to the old brick buildings and our new brick buildings, which are here, and this is the main entrance to the school. When you enter here, you will see into the courtyard, which is like a sanctuary for the school. And then the, uh, the ceiling here will be clad in wood, and there's a huge cantilever that comes out, which is also clad in wood on the underside. So it'll be a little different. Between that building and the auditorium building, there's a deck the second level and then you connect to the other academic building across the way so this is basically for any kind of um, lectures film projection and so on and also it's been designed so that it could be used for an interactive lecture or um, video conferencing with another facility anywhere in the world this institution is obviously um, going to be an important player on the world stage and as um, the kind of institution it is, it has a responsibility to examine all the issues that affect our lives. And so sustainability is a huge issue. And we have in-floor heating and cooling, radiant heating and cooling as well. So um, we should be saving up to 60% of energy use in this building, over and above a standard building. So. Um, uh, there was a lot of care taken in the design of the building in that respect. The Bosley campus is going to be a collection of institutions uh, that together have the capacity to actually change the world, to make the world a better place. It includes the Bosley School of International Affairs, that's a partnership between CG, the think tank, and the two universities here. It will also include a future, possibly, tr School of Trade and Innovation, Global Trade and Innovation. They'll have programs about intellectual property and trade and tariffs. It could include a law program that will be an international law program in a partnership between CG and an existing law school somewhere in Ontario, but located here in Waterloo. And it could include the Morrison Centre, which is a proposed centre of studies of peace and conflict. And so when you have all of these students for all these different programs and the researchers, the faculty and the think tank all operating together, you get synergies. You have the think tank's ability to bring world leaders and, and practitioners and policy from all around the globe to here in Waterloo. And then you have the up and coming students who bring the cutting edge ideas from their studies and the researchers. All of that creates a hub of excellence, a critical mass that could actually change the world.